Okay, now we're going to do a series of problems with rounding numbers, which uh, include decimals. So um, maybe this is a little bit more complicated than doing rounding whole numbers. Uh, if you remember um, what place value looks like for decimals, um, let's write a, a number here. Okay, so the one is the ones digit. Okay, and there's only one ones digit. The rest are might be a little confusing. The two is the tens digit. And the five is the tenths digit. Okay, so, um, and now you just count up from there. So like, going to the left, you know, it's one, ten, one hundred. Um, a thousand. Now going to the right, the first number after the decimal point is the tenths. Okay, and the second one is going to be the hundredths. And the next one's going to be a thousandths. Okay, and so on. So, I mean, this might be confusing because like the first number after the decimal is, is already the tenths and you might forget that you might think it's the ones um, so uh, there's not really much way around that you got to memorize that you know the, the only one that's a one is here there's no ones okay so there's a one and then the next one's already the tenths and then the hundredths and the thousandths and maybe always go back and count starting from the unit or the one and then that maybe that'll help okay so let's do 64.1573. We're going to round this to the nearest hundredth. So the hundredth is, let's count. So this is the ones, and this is the tenths, and this is the hundredths. So this is the, the critical digit here that's either going to stay the same or change. It's going to either be five or it's going to round up to a six. And what's going to determine that is this 7. So the 7, since it's above 5, it's going to make the 5 turn into a 6. Okay. Okay. And then everything after the 6 is, is going to turn into a 0 or disappear. Okay. And everything to the left is going to stay the same. The only time something on the left might change is if this number that rounded up changes to a zero and then that might affect things on the left okay so really what's left here is 64.16 okay so we'll type that in here okay now we're gonna round 78,416 now this one doesn't have a decimal so this is a little easier right 78,416 to the nearest thousand and the thousand digit of course is here so the eight is either going to stay eight or it's going to turn into nine and what's going to determine whether it's going to turn into nine or not is the digit to the right the four it's less than five so that means that the eight will stay the same and the number to the left a seven now that's gonna that's gonna stay the same too because eight didn't change into it's uh, it's not a zero or anything which might affect the left side the right side it's all gonna stay it's all gonna turn into zero okay seventy eight thousand okay now we're gonna do a decimal one twenty eight thousand point six one three four to the nearest tenth so where's the tenth well eight is the ones six is the tenths so we're going to round to the nearest tenths so what's going to determine whether the six stays a six or goes to a seven is the next digit which is a one one is less than five so that means a six will stay six okay and everything to the right of the six is just going to go to zero or in this case you could just disappear okay you could write zero or you can make it disappear either one left side is going to be 28 so the answer is 28.6 Okay, 12,478 to the nearest thousand. 
well, the thousand, this is the ones, this is the tens, this is the hundreds, this is the thousands, okay? So the two is going to change or not, okay? To know if the two is going to change or not, we look to the digit to the right, the four, okay? So since it's less than five, we're going to change the two. We're not going to change the two. The two is going to stay the same, okay? And the left number is going to stay the same. And the numbers to the right are all going to go to zero, Okay, now, 58,291 to the nearest thousand. So the, remember, this is the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and this would be the thousands. Okay, so this would either be eight or it'll change to nine. And to see if it is going to be 8 or change to 9, we look at the digit to the right, which is a 2. It's less than 5, so that means it'll stay 8. The left number is going to stay the same, and the right numbers are going to go to 0. So the number, the answer is 58,000. Okay. Uh, okay, so now we're going to do a decimal one again. 61.9524 to the nearest one. So the one is right there. So if we're going to round it to the nearest one, it's the same thing as rounding it to the nearest whole number. So what's going to determine if that one stays one or changes into two is the number to the right, which is a nine. So a nine is well over five, so that means that the one will change to two. Okay, The one might be a one or a two. It's going to change to a two because of the nine. And then the left numbers can stay the same, and the right numbers are all going to go to zero. Okay, so the answer is 62. Okay, now we have um, 83,641 to the nearest hundred. The nearest hundred was, let's see which digit that is. So that's the ones, that's the tens. This is the hundreds, so it's the six. Is the six going to stay six, or is it going to change to seven? The 4 is going to determine that. So a 4 is less than 5, so 6 is going to stay the same. The left numbers are going to stay the same, and the right numbers are going to become zeros. So the answer is 83,600. Okay, and um, now we're going to do 46.5782, and remember, in IV and in America, um, the decimal point is a period. So, okay, to the nearest hundredth. So let's see. This is the ones. This is the tenths. This is the hundredths. Okay. So the seven is going to be the last digit after we round it, and it's going to be a seven, or it's going to turn into an eight. We don't know yet. Okay. To figure it out, if it's going to be a seven or eight. We look at the next digit, which is an 8. So 8 is above 5, so that means we're going to pick the bigger one. So the 7 is going to turn into an 8. To the left, everything's going to stay the same. The only reason why the stuff to the left would change is if this rounded digit is uh, jumping up to a 0. And the right digits are just going to turn into zeros. So the answer is 46.58. Okay, and we're done with the series.